All right, you guys, so it is day two here getting a brand new turtle enclosure put together. We added a bunch of plants. I'll show you guys right now. So come over here. We didn't add a bunch of plants, but we added some plants. How about that? And inside of, we already had the hibiscus tree that you guys know. And I told you guys in the comments earlier today or yesterday, what were these plants? I forget exactly names, but we added another hibiscus tree there and added a brick here, a brick here, and a brick here so that I can get to the back to check for eggs whenever I would like to. That is going to be the pond right there. I'm adding mesh into the pond area so that the concrete can stick a lot better because it won't really stick to the mud. This is how I do all my concrete ponds and it works perfectly. It might not be the most professional way ever, but it's a DIY way. It works perfect. It holds water and it's great. So I have a real deep area. I have an area that comes out that way to shallows up the water and then I have like a real shallow water area here. So I'm going to cut out a little bit more mesh, get the rest of the pond meshed up and then go get some concrete. Uh, stir it up a little bit and add it inside of this pond and start uh, what you want to call it playing with it and getting it to the point that I want it to be at uh, right over there that little high piece right there is actually the old concrete pond that was here before that was filled in mud I broke it up as much as I could and I didn't really have extra help to lift it back up so I decided to use it as part of the enclosure here so right there is a nice high piece of the rock so that's going to be a nice area for these wood turtles to get higher than any point of this area to stay completely dry and maybe bask on a nice heated rock which would be pretty dope as well but uh yeah i'm going to get the rest of this mesh on top of here and then um start laying concrete so i'll show you guys once the concrete is uh, getting poured and all of that cool stuff so yeah this is just a nice little decent diy area for these wood turtles Oh, you guys saw the last recent video of putting these wood turtles in there. It was ugly. It wasn't nice. And now it's getting better. We already added a bunch of cypress molds for them. And it's just getting a nice little put together area for these wood turtles. There is a, how many were there, Kenya? I think it was a, ah, on your phone. it's on my phone. It is on my phone. It's a big group of wood turtles, but this area, it doesn't look massive, but from one end, from the other end, it is 10 foot. And from that end to the other end, it is 20 foot. So the 10 by 20 uh, enclosure and for these guys it is perfect the perfect little breeding spot for these wood turtles just like on the other side we have a bunch of wood turtles over there see how thick and uh, lush and green it is that's how this enclosure will be in the next month or so and they will love it it works perfect up here they lay they eat they do great and it works so that's what I'm gonna do over here the same exact style for other species of wood turtles so uh, enough blah, 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 talking and let's get it going all right guys so I'm already uh, mixing concrete right here and Kenya reminded me right now that I needed to record because sometimes when I'm here on the ranch I don't want to talk to the camera that much because I do love you guys but sometimes I just want to like not talk to the camera but I do love you all and uh, don't mind the noise in the background that's actually a tree that fell down on my neighbors and I'm getting a bunch of branches for the aviary enough talk about that we already started pouring some concrete over there so that's why Kenny's like Blake you need a fill and I'm like jeez I do need a fill so I just got a half another bag of concrete in there I'm gonna show you what it looks like I don't use any tools really I like to use my hands because I feel like I'm really into the work that way and I can really sculpture it much, much better. So I'm going to show you what I got done already. And it was already one five gallon bucket or one sixty pound of concrete already. So here we go. Already got a little bit in there. So what I'm going to do now is work on to this side. Well, I'm probably going to get the whole bottom done first. So here we go. We're just going to pour that in there. I already meshed it all up as you guys saw earlier. All right, so I just poured the other one in there. I just got a little bit of dirt in my eye. That's just a normal thing of my eyeballs. I like to make it not too watery so I can work it a little bit better. You see, it's nice and putty, muddy area. I'm going to keep the bottom very shallow, deep, so it's not going to add too much mud. And we're just going to rub it all in there, pat it like a patty cake. And look, see, I made a little ramp right here. Bring it down so they can walk up and down right there. And just start working it. Make sure all the mesh is filled up. And there you go. All right, so we got to go get some more concrete about halfway right there. Then we're going to make it go over with some more softer concrete. But that's the start of it right there. And then we're going to get a little shallow area. You're going to see it's a nice little pond. And what we could do as well, instead of it being gray, they are cutting trees back there. I'm so sorry, you guys. Instead of it being gray, what we could do is paint it like a nice tint color. We could probably do that as well. We'll get some spray paint tomorrow once it all dries up. But uh, let's go get some more concrete and keep on going. So this area is going to be like a very shallow beachy area kind of deal. So I don't want it to be too thick of concrete. But I got to make sure all that mesh is covered up. And anything that's sticking out like that that doesn't get covered, we'll just get the wire cutters and cut it all out, no problem. 
the mesh helps less crack and if i wanted to stand inside of here the mesh will let it not crack if it wasn't with mesh in there it would crack very very easily and that would help it out obviously you do a lot lot more mesh and rebar things of like that if the pond was a very very big pond but this is a very shallow pond and it's just having a little bit of wood turtles inside of it nothing too crazy there we go we got made that little corner right there little lip perfect so we're gonna get all that concrete pushed down into there and then get some more get some more concrete another bucket like i was saying earlier i like to make sure it's a little bit uh on, on the drier side so it's easier to form it was too sloppy and too mucky very hard to form and then it won't be like it won't stay in place it's better to keep it a little bit drier let's get it where you need it to go and this is obviously a dirty job it ain't gonna stay clean you're gonna get dirty you can probably use tools but i'm not really the kind of person to use tools just uh get my hands dirty a little bit but i think one more bucket and that won't be too bad so uh yeah it's looking pretty good we got a nice little bank over there they could go down into the water they could walk right out very very rough bottom so it's just easy to come in and out no problem they won't slip they won't drown none of that craziness Yeah, and like I said, any of the metal that's sticking out, just use the wire cutters, just cut it out. It needs to be cut. There we go. A couple more, maybe a bag or two. And this pond will be done. And then tomorrow we fill it up with water. All right, guys, so it's day three on getting this pond, this turtle enclosure done. The plants are in, you guys saw, we made the concrete earlier, or late afternoon yesterday. The concrete is dry, I checked it this morning. Uh, I got some paints that I want to make in a little bit of a light color, so it's not a gray color, so it's more of a natural a pond look. Uh, what else am I going to say? Uh, I got Flex Seal right here just to make sure that the water is completely, well, make sure the concrete is completely sealed. Um, yeah, so I'm, what I'm going to do first is spray down the whole thing with this uh, brown color spray paint. And then after that dries, after a couple minutes with the wind and the sun, we're going to Flex Seal the whole entire thing. And it's a liquid rubber inside a can, obviously, like what I just said. And it's clear, so the color is going to be just like the brown. So let's head over there and show you this pond all right so i have a time lapse running at the same time and right now as you can see it's kind of a lot darker than gray because the turtles have been already walking all through the whole entire thing so i'm just gonna just spray it down a little bit so you see i'm gonna make it that brown color instead of a gray color and i'm probably gonna use probably the two cans of spray because there is a lot of coloration that has to get thick into it So we got this whole thing sprayed down. Uh, it's a nice little brown tinty gray color. It's probably just gonna turn completely black because as you guys can see, there's black mud all around. So when they go in and out, in and out, it's gonna turn all black. But I just wanted to add a little bit of a tint so I knew what the natural color is supposed to look like of my pond that I built. When I do clean it out, I'm gonna have a overflow here just like I have an overflow right there. The water pours down from the piping, fills that up, flows that over, same thing that's gonna happen here. And then they'll always have fresh clean water that's in here it doesn't have to be perfectly clean because these guys are living in ponds and lakes and stuff like that that just have uh just sitting water really but i'm gonna add a little bit of hyacinth in it just like how there's plants all into that one and it helps it out a lot more so hopefully by the end of the day we'll be able to show you guys some water inside of this pond and uh yeah looking pretty dope all right so we just threw a bunch of pellets down the tortoises are all eating having a good old time with some missouri tortoise chow come over here and you can check out the brand new pond that we just made. It is pretty freaking good. I'm more pretty happier than what I actually made. Like, it's pretty dope what I made right here. And it's perfect. It's holding water. I already cleaned everything out from all the spray paint and all that stuff. We're filling it up with a little bit more water. Um, the turtles are having a great time. They already came here and checked it out. We have that little shallow area over there on that side. Nice deep area. And they can come in and out with any problem. It's deep enough so that they can breed if they need to. Well, if they want to. And, yeah, it's pretty freaking dope. I'm really happy with it. enjoy it too make sure you guys like this video i hope you learned something in this video as well subscribe to the channel put the post notifications on and uh, i will see every single one of you guys coming soon peace out everyone